Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm sharing some what solds. It is Memorial Day weekend. I have sold some stuff Friday, Saturday, and today's Sunday morning. So not bread and butter, but you know, still sharing. Good sales either way. So FYI, I did go to that estate sale I was talking about on my last video that had Barbies and jewelry. And it wasn't amazing. The Barbies weren't that old and the jewelry wasn't that awesome. <laughs> so I didn't get a whole lot, but that's okay. They can't all be winners, guys. And I don't expect them to be. I try not to get my hopes up, even though it happens at times. So it's all right. A lot of stuff going on right now in the summertime. And I actually am headed to an estate sale today, half off day, um, not far from where I live. So I'm excited about that. So maybe we'll find some good stuff there. So for now, we're just going to share some what solds. So thank you guys for joining, for watching. I am Jules, a one-woman show, single mama, the um, full-time flipper. Yeah, <laughs> so we're going to do this. We're going to get into it. ...is jewelry. I had never found chaps jewelry i don't know if it's like chaps ralph lauren i'm assuming but i only put chaps gold tone statement link necklace and look how long this is whoa really long on the um little thingamajig here it says chaps you can see and yeah just a nice long necklace i believe i found this in the goodwill grab bag so not sure how much I have into it. It did sell for $28.80 plus shipping, so not bad. All right, so I'm just going in order. So the next item that sold was these really nice, look how cool these are, guys. They're bear trap shoes embroidered. Really cool. There's the bear trap logo on the back and very good condition. Like it looks like someone barely wore them. Found them at my local thrift store, paid probably about $2 for them, and they sold for $18 plus shipping. I did take an offer, had them for about a, probably about a month or so. The necklace too, I don't think I mentioned that, that was about a month or so as well. Okay, the next one I've had for quite a while, so this is something I probably would not pick up again. Just a cute decor cutout. It's in really good condition for its age. Um, at the back, you can see it says Sexton right there. I honestly don't remember where I got this or how much I paid because it's an oldie, guys. And it says, give us a stay our daily bread. So obviously it would take a certain buyer to want this. So yeah, just a longer tail item. It did sell for $18.90 plus shipping. So not a bad sale depending on what I paid for it, which apparently I don't remember. But good to see it go. Okay, this is a really pretty pair of clip-on earrings that were not signed or anything. They just looked nice, and I thought, let's try to sell them by themselves. Because sometimes I'll lot clip earrings together if they're not signed or that special. But these ones I just thought were so pretty. See? Clippies, okay. So let's see. Vintage large faceted amber rhinestone clip-on earrings, fall autumn moody brown. So those are the keywords I use. So it's not fall or autumn or anything like that, but these sold for 22 plus shipping. So good sale there. Next, we have a very long tail item. These I probably won't pick up again unless it's something rare and worth more money. You guys probably have seen these around, these Wilton pans. I've had an elf one, I think, before. This is obviously Mickey Mouse. Yeah, never used, and I don't remember what I paid for it because I've had it forever. The elf one I had also took a while to sell and was not worth much either. So yeah, I probably won't be picking up many more of these guys, but they are cool. I guess they're just not in demand much. Maybe there's a lot of them out there. So this guy sold for $12 plus shipping. So going out, maybe someone's having a birthday. Mickey Mouse lover. Okay, good sale here. I stopped by a yard sale a couple weeks ago and they had some decent jewelry. Some of it was silver. And this is one of the items I found there. Really pretty bracelet. Made very well. Silver has the 925 on there. You can see right there. Sorry, I have like this 
this dye on my hands. It's not like blood or anything. I use this cherry limeade flavoring in some of my drinks and that's what it is. So yeah. <laughs> and let me read who made this because I forget here. Sopata, is that how you say that? Sopata Sterling Silver 14k Gold Beads Balls Bracelet Toggle. So yeah, very nice bracelet. It sold for $51.36 plus shipping. And I think I pay, my head paid like 10 15 for this. I paid up for it because I, you know, I looked it up and knew it was worth more. Good sale there. Okay, a Victoria's Secrets item sold. Always pick up Victoria's Secret if I can get it at a good price. Seems to do well. This is just a very tiny camisole like lingerie piece. I can't stand it. If I find like a little hair or any kind of thing on the, I am so anal about this. This is why I can't sell a lot of clothes because it drives me nuts. Like, anywho, look how cute tiny it's just like this little dress kind of thing and lacy and small I think it is a small let me see yeah and it's called sexy little things yep small Victoria's Secret sexy little things so only sold for ten dollars plus shipping I paid a dollar for it so I took an offer it's not a very old some of the like vintagey Victoria's Secret does really well but this one's not super old nice though nice little number there it's nice to sell it and going out okay just like two days ago I picked up this cute little lovey look how cute and I think this brand is a good one guys it only sold for 16 plus shipping which, I mean, I paid, I think, $1.50 for this, so. But the tag, there it is, Lila and Jack. And when I looked these up, like, the new ones were pretty pricey. And there wasn't a lot on eBay, so I think it's a good uh, levy to look out for. So, sold, like, immediately, seriously. Like, same day I posted it, it sold. For 16 plus shipping. Easy to ship, going out. Next, we have a pair of Converse. So I used to pick up Converse more than I do now. I still like Converse and vintage Converse can be worth a ton of money, by the way. In case you didn't know, yeah, it's pretty crazy. But I've never found any vintage. It's usually just more modern. And um, these are in excellent condition. I believe I paid a couple bucks for them and they sold for 17 plus shipping. Converse, I usually sell them in the low 20s or maybe like mid 20s. These I've had for a while and I took an offer on them. So yeah, Converse is usually more bread and butter for me unless there's something really special, of course. Either way, if they're clean looking and I can get them cheap, I pick them up. It's just something I'm more careful about nowadays that I know they usually don't go for a ton of money. You know, I got to buy them at a really good price. So good sale. All right, here is a pretty cool Zelda lunchbox. Look at that. Zelda Nintendo DS. It's got Link there on the boat. Let me see. It didn't have, it has the same image, I believe, on the front and the back. And there's no like thermos or anything in here. Just, you know, and it does have a tiny bit of wear in here, but it looks good for the most part. Yeah, I forget where I got this and I forget how much I paid for it. <laughs> yeah, it sold for $14 plus shipping. There wasn't a ton online, but apparently it's just not as a desirable lunchbox and I was missing the thermos so I don't know if a thermos came with this I'm assuming it did I don't know I'm not actually sure about that but either way it sold bread and butter guys bread and butter uh, a few videos back I showed this in an estate haul super pretty only took a couple weeks to sell had the sticker and everything and it sold for $40 plus shipping I did take an offer. I had it a little higher than that, but then I went back and I, I checked like sold comps and not a ton of these had sold. There's not a ton on eBay, but the one that did sell only sold for 20 some. And I thought, eh, $40, that's a good sale. So I took it and I, I think this is one of them. I forget what I paid for. I paid probably between five and $10 for this. And it sold for 40 plus shipping. So good sale. All right, guys, I'm headed off to an estate sale half off day. We'll see how that goes. I'll keep you posted. Hey, guys, here's a couple items I found at the estate sale. This I paid $10 for. Very beautiful Murano glass. Just stunning. The colors and everything. I just had to have it. There was a lot of other glass there, but 
I didn't want to spend too much. And this is just the piece I really thought was beautiful. So I picked this up. Coming up is a vintage um, Chinese tea set with a cute basket and everything. It's so cool. This I paid $12 for. And I have it on eBay for $64. And I wanted to give you guys a quick heads up. In the next clip, my microphone and my necklace were kind of interacting. And it's making kind of wonky sounds. I do apologize. Hope you enjoy anyhow. Happy Memorial Day, guys. I have some more sales. So let's get into this. As you can see, I got Buzz right here. He is a pretty cool Buzz. But he has some scuffies on him. And he's missing his little backpack thingy-majig there. So this guy is Buzz Lightyear Search and Rescue. And some of these old Buzz Lightyears and Woodies and all that, they can go for really good money. This one was bread and butter and it sat for a really long time, probably months. So he finally sold for $18 plus shipping. So he's going out. I'm going to say it, guys. I'm going to do it. To infinity and beyond. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed that. Okay, anywho, Buzz is out, and next sale is a Life is Good hat. Just a little nice cap here. It's got a little ruggedness to it, and that's what it's supposed to, you know, look like. Good condition. Life is Good is a good brand. <laughs> it's a good brand. Not all of it sells for a whole lot, but it is a nicely made brand, and it's cute. Got a lot of nature -y stuff, and I like to pick it up when I can get it at a good price. So let's see. Uh, this baby sold for $12.60 plus shipping. So cool. Way to go. All right, next we have a nice Buxton wallet. What did grandmas used to call these? Bifolds? Is that like a name for a wallet or a purse? I think it was a wallet name. Bifolds. My son just yelled something out there. Oh, it's storming. So I think he yelled a storming. <laughs> We're good. It's not a bad storm. It's my middle son's end. He's just being goofy. Okay. We're having a rainy kind of dreary Memorial Day here in Erie, PA. It's a rainy day in PA. <laughs> wow. I feel like I keep like doing mom joke things. My kids do not think I'm funny at all. And I don't think they're funny most of the time. Our senses of humor, it's like this big generation gap. And it comes together in certain areas, but in different areas, it's like we're like different sides of a coin so there's that uh, have any of you noticed that just me I don't know but anywho Buxton wallet nice wallet good shape paid a couple bucks for it sold for $19 plus shipping so good sale there going out okay we got a really cute mini mouse look at this little gal oh she even has her tag she has a little flute and when she has the batteries, it like lights up and I think she kind of like sings a song or something, you know. Got her for like a dollar, I think. And that's probably the main reason I picked her up because a lot of Disney stuff like this is so oversaturated. It doesn't sell very well, I've noticed. It has to be like the rare stuff. So she only sold for $13.49 plus shipping. So nice though. She's going out. Oh, and yesterday I sold that Mickey Mouse um, cake pan. Which, by the way, that's a thing. Like, yes, if you sell a little bit of everything and then, say, a hat sells, then you might see a couple other hats sell too, like all on the line like that. It happens all the time. Like with me, I sold a Minnie Mouse. I sold that Min or Mickey Mouse cake tin. Then I sold Buzz Lightyear, who is a toy. So that's another thing. Like the toys might all of a sudden start selling. And then I'll be back to some vintage items might start selling or jewelry, you know, because... I know for a fact the algorithm does that. It like the signals go out. Oh, this seller has toys. This seller has toys. And they send a signal out to put more toys in front of the buyers. So that's why niching down, I think, can be so successful because if you're only selling like one kind of item or a couple kinds of items, then you're probably going to get more repeat customers and more people coming to you. You can absolutely make money. Either way, you can make money all sorts of ways on eBay. There is not one successful way to make money. If I could only sell vintage items, I totally would do that. I love vintage stuff, but a lot of vintage stuff is really long tail and I can't get my hands on enough of it to only sell vintage. I already sell a lot of vintage, just not everything. You know, I'll pick up other things, which is fine by me. 
but my heart my heart is in the vintage stuff there's all kinds of little tricks you know to keep up with sales and stuff and you learn all that along the way let's go on to the next item okay yes i have a grab bag that finally sold the over five pounds of jewelry right here i sold for 17 dollars plus shipping and this is all like leftover jewelry from when i get goodwill grab bags i'll pick out the stuff i want and then anything i don't want i put back into a lot and then i sell it myself on ebay now these for me have been really long tail and i don't know if it's because people know i'm a reseller obviously i'm very leery of buying jewelry bags off of ebay because i always think oh they're all pick through but i do think some jewelry sellers might do well with that but as far as me whenever i have one um they sit like this has sat for months i have i think one more left in my store there are people that do craft things that just want like jewelry for crafting but i think more people buy it for resale personally I'm not 100 percent on that but anyhow good to sell it <laughs> on to the next okay this was a really neat funky little uh pottery plaque look at this little fishy dude he's kind of weird but kind of cute one of them <laughs> but anyhow this is a little pottery item by edward Edward Brinkman, and he's in North Carolina, I guess. I just found it at an estate sale, and I thought, oh, that's cool. I could see someone maybe wanting that little plaque. I didn't pay much for it, and it finally sold for $12 plus shipping. Cute little plaque going out. Kind of an odd item here. I was at an estate sale that had a ton of vintage toys and stuff. Now, this was like a year ago now, and... I got a bunch of stuff there and I found these and they had them really cheap and I just thought oh that's kind of neat I'll grab them and these are vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles just notepads isn't that random there's four of them yeah and they just have like the little logo there and there's no branding on them it's really weird it's like did someone have these made or something I don't know I sat on them forever because I thought I really don't know what Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collectors gotta want these like they're kind of cool but I don't know so I finally posted them a while back and they did take a while to sell I finally sold them for nine dollars plus shipping so they did not go for much but I'm glad to see them go and I actually got five of them there's four here I got five so I kept one for myself just to write stuff on because I thought they're kind of cool but yeah kind of random right Okay, the next one is a tooled belt. Anytime I find like vintage tooled leather belts, I always pick them up. They often do take a while to sell, but they usually sell for a little more and they're unique. You know, you can't find them everywhere. So I like to pick them up. And this one's definitely unique. It says Jesus is a Lord on it. Look at that. And it's got like Jesus and praying hands. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Old. It's got a little wear, but not bad. It's in pretty good condition. Took a while to sell, like I said, but finally sold. $23 plus shipping, so not bad. And I probably only paid like a dollar or two for it, if that. So finally going out. Yay. All right, guys, that's about it for today. I might get some more orders tonight and tomorrow morning. I got a lot of orders to take, guys. It is Memorial Day weekend, so we had an extra day to ship. And I'm going to try to get all the stuff packed so I don't have to do it all in the morning. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Happy hunting and see you on the next one. Toodaloo.